about shooting at the Commonwealth Games and it will be a big, big miss for India that the shooters are not here, given that it is a sport that has given India the maximum number of medal at any multidisciplinary event. To talk about shooting and its absence, we have the shooting legend with us, London Olympics medalist Gagan Narang. Gagan, you have 10 medals from the um, Commonwealth Games, not to speak about your Olympic medal here. But overall, India has won over 60 gold medals in shooting. How big a miss it will be for the Indian contingent to not have you guys here. Well, Rika, it will be a big miss. In fact, uh, I am missing them as well. And it's quite uh, odd that I am sitting here and giving you an interview rather than giving you an interview in Birmingham. I think the shooters are a bit disappointed that Commonwealth Games may shooting nahi hoga. I think uh, it's a big blow, but uh, hopefully the good sense will prevail and we should be back in the Commonwealth fold in the next edition. Now, Gagan, in 2019, when this decision came through that there will be no shooting, the Indian Olympic Association had even threatened a boycott as a bargain. They were told that a Commonwealth shooting championship and perhaps an archery championship will be held, but that has not happened. Do you think that could be a reality? Well, I don't know why that didn't see the light of the day, but I think it was because of COVID. But uh, I'm hoping that, you know, shooting at the moment does not figure in the first list of the 2026 uh, Commonwealth Games in Australia. But I'm hoping that good sense will prevail and shooting will come back into its fold. Because if you see, it's not just about uh, Indians winning medals. I think the Australians are also traditionally very good at the sport. And uh, shooting not being there will also cause a dent in their medal tally. So I'm hoping that shooting will be included. Uh, Gagan, we were talking to the Commonwealth Games Federation this morning and they uh, they were saying that a review comes up uh, in a few months' time and by September probably we will get to know the final list of uh, the sport that are going to be played at the Commonwealth Games. But given how things have gone, how hopeful are you of you know shooting, wrestling and uh, a few other sports being a part of these multidisciplinary events in the long run? Well, Rika, speaking uh, factually, I think uh, uh, traditionally, you know, we've been doing better in these games and I am not, I don't see a reason. I mean, it's a bit unfair uh, because there are so many young athletes uh, participating across uh, uh, various Commonwealth Games uh, nations that uh, that they are being unfair to. And I think, uh, I hope that no games are uh, excluded and in fact, uh, they should include as many games as possible so that the the Olympic movement, the spirit of sport is alive and it continues to grow that way. Gagan, the idea that I have uh, in having spoken to these officials is that they're trying to compete with Olympics to get younger. And while they're trying to get younger athletes and younger audience, the sense I get is that uh, they're perhaps more trying to get in more urban young audience and urban young athlete than, you know, trying to be in inclusive. What is your idea? You know, exclusive excluding events like uh, wrestling and archery as well as shooting and bringing in the, you know sports like skateboarding um, break dancing rock climbing doesn't it appeal to the urban ad audience more than you know uh, the audience and well, at mass i guess it's beyond my imagination to kind of uh, see these new sports being uh, included and at the same time the traditional sports being excluded I think that should not have happened. I'm not against new sports being included, but the traditional sport, I mean, if you see wrestling, it's been there since the longest and it's mm -hmm. never gone out any of any games for that matter. So why should a sport like shooting? I mean, archery, of course, developed into shooting and so on. But I think I don't see a reason that these sports should be excluded and the sport should be included in on their uh, in their behalf. So I think you have enough space for... Uh, uh, including more sports and just don't take any sport out because it's unfair to so many millions of people who are training for this sport. Now, Gagan, you have been a champion shooter at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, tell us, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the relevance of the Commonwealth Games. What do you think are the relevance of it uh, today? Well, I feel uh, India's best medal hall at the Commonwealth Games in shooting especially was uh, in 2002, Manchester and we had 69 medals and we finished fourth, you know, and uh, we've been since independence only missed three Commonwealth Games out of so many that have been happen happening and uh, we finished second in 2010. So I think Commonwealth Games is a great 
first step for any athlete for i mean it should be their first games of course my first games were the olympic games because i was on that part of the olympic cycle but it's a great uh, first step to kind of understand what the games are all about the whole uh, the attention around the games the whole feeling of having so many sports together eating together and you know traveling so i think the whole games environment is very very good during the commonwealth games is a great step up to go and lead up to the asian games and then to the olympics so it's a great games environment it gives you the confidence and it also makes you believe if you win it also makes you believe that you are up there and ready to win at the big stage gagan since you look at sports globally let me ask you this question would you say also the relevance lies in the kind of money in the kind of uh, cash that uh, the athletes win after every commonwealth uh, medals they get and it's almost at par with winning the olympics well no there is a differentiation between the cash awards but of course uh, some are more than the others but i think in the ranking you have the commonwealth games and the asian games and then the olympics so there is a, a clear demarcation between the three games because the whole world doesn't participate there's only the commonwealth countries and then there's only the asian countries and the olympics then you says the whole world and then that's the actual test of who's in which ki- which level of water i was mm-hmm. uh now since i have got you ahead of the games let me ask you let me pin you down to uh, a realistic number of medals that we can get from these medals from this games well uh, that would not be a great criteria of judging india's performance because uh, shooting as a sport is Uh, not included so it will be a big dent in the total number of medals but i think a good success parameter for the indian team for the commonwealth games would be to better their performances sport wise so if you would take each sport for example we have uh, bench strength in wrestling weightlifting badminton boxing table tennis hockey athletics cricket so if they are able to kind of improve their medal tally or the color of the medal in these individual sports i think that is a good success parameter for the indians at the commonwealth games Thank you very much Gagan for joining us and we will keep a track of the games and we'll keep listening to you as the games progress. Thank you and all the best.